Hello, my name's Caroline, also known as Car Knight. In this video, I'll show you how to save a shader that you've set up in Shader Mixer as a preset. I'll set up a shader on a cube and then save it as a preset and apply it to clothing. Once the preset's applied to clothing, I can change the surface parameters without going into the Shader Mixer. First of all, I'll create a primitive cube and with the Surface Selection tool, select the surface and on the Shader Mixer tab I've set up a simple shader just using the Carrara Marble Brick connected to the opacity channel of the default material. Remember to create a brick, right click Insert Brick Functions Patterns Carrara Marble. Apply this to the surface of the cube and render to check the shader. All the surface properties that we can change are listed on the Surface tab, such as the Diffuse color, and at the bottom are the Carrara Marble parameters that I can change for this one surface without having to go into the Shader Mixer. To save this as a preset, you need to select the cube in the Scene tab and also select the surface in the Surface tab or using the Surface Selection tool. When you save, you have to be careful to save the preset into a folder that Daz Studio recognizes. These folders are set up under Edit Menu, Preferences, Directories. This folder is one I've set up for content made by me and corresponds to this folder on the Content tab. This folder is the Daz Studio content and this W is my Poser Format Runtime. I will save this shader preset into my shaders folder. Either click the plus at the bottom of the tab or click on file menu save as shader preset. Record all, accept. Make sure that the file path is the same one as in Dad's studio. I will call this my Carrara and save. And when I click back into the shader folder there's my Carrara preset. It's a very ugly icon but you can change that with one of your own renders as I have on this one. Go out to the file location and you can replace this PNG file with any 91 by 91 pixel PNG. Now I'm going to apply this preset to some clothing. So I'll click on File New. I've previously created a scene with Victoria and the Fay Realm dress which is available from Daz 3D. Now I'm going to apply my preset to the overskirt. To apply a preset I need to select the object in the Scene tab, the skirt, and also select the surface in the Surfaces tab or using the Surface Selection tool. Now I can double click the preset and the Carrara Marble is applied to the overskirt and do a spot render to check it. I can now change any of the surface parameters that were in that shader, so I can change the scale of the Carrara Marble to suit the skirt. I can change the ambient colour for a glow in the dark effect. And I can change the scale to be much smaller to make it sparkly. So that's how you can take a shader and apply it to any other surface and not have to go back into Shader Mixer to change the parameters. This becomes more relevant when you have a more complex setup. For example, I'll put this gradient shader onto several surfaces. Select the objects, the top, the skirt, the sash and the sleeves. I'm holding down the control key to select multiple objects there. And select the surfaces using the Surface Selection tool, holding down the control key, the sleeves, the top, the sash and the skirt. Then double click the shader preset and render. And of course I've got totally the wrong colors there. So I can go into the Surfaces tab and change the colors to something more suitable like purple and blue and pink and render. 
So you can set up a shader once and change it for each surface that you use it on. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it useful.